What's up, guys? Largo Vlogs here. Welcome to Super Reese Galaxy Part 25B. We're going to get right back into Largo and Pinel's little argument. Largo, why? Pinel, I ain't no average Joe. Largo, what's your story, Pinel? Pinel, when I was in college, I got scammed numerous times. One because I sent a girl money. One from... <laughs> One from Escape Your 9 to 5 in the Millionaire Mindset. The last two are just people that say they'll pay you a lot. They'll pay you a lot. Largo, what exactly do you mean? Pinel, those people these those people live great lives and say they will make you rich and reveal their secret for six hundred dollars. Their secret is another one of those videos where they, where they ramble on and on. Largo, so why do you want to become a scammer? Largo, I want to get back at those who have done me wrong. I need to make my money back. I need to make my back my money somehow. I'm in so much i I'm in so much debt that it's no joke. This is the only choice I have. I am still in the negatives, but I will have high money soon. Largo, why does Doing random students wrong solve the issue. Or well, how do you justify that? Pinel, if I can scam to get out of my hole and I'm not held accountable, then technically nothing happened. Largo, your actions always have a way of coming back to you. Pinel, that is not true. Not everything you hear in Darman videos is true. Largo, I'm sorry you went I'm sorry you went through all that, Pinel. I really am. But that does not make what you did right. Pinel, well, making it right won't fix anything, so I might as well keep going. Anyways, Largo, that is my story. We can talk about this more later on. You really, you don't really have to do anything at this point. My scam is almost complete. Largo, you haven't even scammed anyone yet. It's not too late to change your mind. Pinel, that's not the point. I've already invested money in the microchips. I might as well continue with my plan. You better not ruin this for me, Largo. Largo, whatever you say, Pinel. Meanwhile, the classroom. Professor Largo, all right, guys, we need to have a serious conversation. Greece, what's going on? Professor Largo, we have one more planet left in the program, but there is an issue. After this planet, y'all are on your own. Matt, what do you mean? Largo, well, I am tired of being manipulated through everything I've gone through and all the work I've done. Gabby, what do you mean by that exactly? Largo, if you guys must know, my boss, he made me crazy. He made me do this whole college thing. David, bro, you don't need to beat around the bush. We all know that this is a scam. Largo, yeah, and I'm not behind it. Amelia, so what are you saying? Largo, I am saying that y'all are on your own. Max. So how are we going to get to the next planet then? Largo, my boss will drive the spaceship. Elian, why, don't you, why won't you tell us the name of your boss? Largo, I can't say it. Alyssa, why not? Tia, guys, he's hiding something. Largo, well, anyways, I am quitting because I can't take it anymore. Malik, I thought you said we can't quit. Aaron, yeah, how are we going to get back home? Dart, yeah, that's what I want to know. Largo, I have my ways of getting back. Y'all don't need to worry about me. Back to Reese talking. Professor Largo jumped off the spaceship and he was gone. All of us were shocked. Our professor quit on us. No one felt bad because no one did anything. There isn't a class clown or anything. I mean, sometimes we have our moments, but it can't possibly be because of the moments we had. Aaron asked who's going to take over. At this point, I have no idea who it will be. But I have to wonder, who is Largo's boss? Does he know us? Alyssa, guys, I have a bad feeling about this. I am. What you mean? Gabby, ever since Professor Largo left, it got really cold in here. Tia, yeah. I feel a really evil vibe in here. David, guys, he's been gone for five minutes. Aaron, it feels like something bad is going to happen. Reese, what do we do now? Alyssa, Angel, what do we do? Angel, I don't know if you guys are going to Planet 8, but when you do, do not jump at all, no matter what. Anyone who is microchipped or near someone who is microchipped will trigger the sniper stone piece that we do not want. No matter what anyone says, do not jump. Back to Reese talking. After Angel told us that, we heard some loud noises. Pinnell talking. Professor Largo has quit on me. I knew that man would. I don't need any of these haters stopping me from my goals. All the villains in the last year or so have had all the men give up on them. But I guess it's my fault. I only hired two people. Bowser has hundreds of Koopas and other people working for him that never give up. Other than Fawful taking over at some points, Bowser's minions are always loyal. I want to be like Bowser. The villains that I have heard of recently, their staff doesn't even make it to the final battle of the plan. It's like no one wants to work for villains anymore. If we can't get our plan to work, we can get things working. I honestly don't care about money that much, but I want power. I fell for scams when I was younger and I realized that those people have power. I want to power I want power to control people and build an empire. They say if you cheat, you'll never get ahead. Dharma says that. However, I know that if you cheat, you'll be you can you can be so far ahead that no one will stop you. 
The plan is I have microchip this group of people who think they're in college. And the plan is to possess them and they work for me. I had to microchip them because we need workers and not thinkers. That's the problem with this generation. The reason why no one wants to work anymore is because everyone wants to do fun jobs that aren't needed. But we need people to do hated jobs. When I have my robots together, they will be working like crazy and I can take all the credit and no one can stop me. Why am I like this? Because the world is out of control. We need to microchip people to take control of them and spy on everything. I will dominate the world and make strict rules. Parents these days are too soft on their kids. And these kids skip school like it's no big deal. But I will whip this world into shape in the, in the easiest way is by scamming. It sounds really flaw, but I know that nice guys finish last. However, the microchip effects aren't quite hitting the group I have now. We have 14 students in the college program. There is one student that's causing a huge problem. She is telling lies and I will get her kicked out by a fact checker. Back to Reese talking. I heard some loud footsteps and a man grabbed Angel and she said she was getting kicked out of school. All of us tried to save her, but they threw her off the ship. The guy said Angel was telling us lies and she got kicked out. The guy couldn't be a fact checker. Anytime you see a fact checker on Facebook or Instagram, this is what the definition of a fact checker is. Fact checker. A fact checker is someone who sees true information and tells people it's false. In other words, if a fact checker claims something to be false, then it is almost always true. I'm not going to get into any politics, but all I know is that none of us will be jumping when we go to the next planet. I don't know when we're going to go to the next planet, but I did see that Matricina X is available to fight in the challenge room. I went over there to fight her and the battle began.